Hello and happy Thursday. So I take note on like requests and one of the biggest ones is I would like to see your drawer setup organization. So any tips of things you have purchased to organize your op and day flow? I'm just super part time so the other hygienist who works here she kind of picks the things but like when it comes down to some things I get to pick so I'll just show you what I got going on in my drawers. So one, two, three. I have four over here and then four over there. So we'll start over here because I'm a right-handed clinician, so this is where I am all the time. This is all my stuff and over there is all like the patient stuff. You'll see what I mean. First drawer. So this one's kind of important to me because it's like the most accessible and that is obviously I'm usually standing. So I'll be like getting my x-ray stuff ready. I'm gonna sit for this for this little this little video. I have all my x-ray stuff. I have my tabs. I usually use the, the blue tabs the most because for um, bite wings because I just like to line them up with the rim, the bars and stuff. But I also have some red tabs in here too for kids in case the blue is like too cumbersome. First people with small mouths, right? So I have those accessible, but I rarely use the red. I have, you know, good old regular PA ones. I have the posteriors and the anteriors, the yellow and the, the white. I have my different size, my pedo sleeves. And I have the one, size one, I have the size two for adults. And then I have my probes back here. So here's the thing. Most offices may have a probe in their setup. But the probes we have in our setups are the plastic ones and I'm not into the plastic ones. So I have my own metal ones that like stay in my room for me. So those are my probes. And uh, I mean, every, anyone's allowed to use them, but everybody else hates them. So I like them, so I use them in here. And then, so that works. So that's a good tip for like new hygienists. Like, if you don't like what's in the setup and nobody's agreeing, get your own whatever and just like leave them in here for yourself. Do you know what I mean? Same thing kind of with my ultrasonic tips. I use a slightly different ultrasonic than the other hygienist, so I have my tips in here. So that's drawer one. Mostly x-ray stuff and my probes and my personal, you know, probes and my personal ultrasonic tips. I do have one more thing in the back here. Actually, it's just because it fits. It doesn't like go with the theme of this first drawer, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't like like when you open the drawer and it, like everything moves. God, I just broke the drawer. In the corner here, I have my little um, like uh, syringes for if I'm doing any like chlorhexidine gluten, you know, kind of rinses. So I have those in here just because this little box fits really well. <laughs> but it doesn't really go with the whole theme of the first drawer. Okay, but we'll get to that. Second drawer. This is all my kind of like polishing stuff. So I have to my... So I have polishing and fluoride and stuff in this drawer. I even have some good old, uh, the disclosing solution, which I don't use ever. I haven't used it since school. I should probably use it. It's a very good, like, educational tool, right? Um, I have some extra saliva ejectors and some extra tips, air water syringe tips, just in case, like, I drop one, you know. They're already on the tray, but, you know, if you drop one, it's, like, right here. So that's good. I have all my... Again, every, most of this stuff in here is on the tray, but it's all my stuff like in case it falls, you know, for that. Like, and then my masks just happen to be in here too because this is where like when the doctor comes through the exam, he just knows we all have our masks in this corner of this drawer, so he knows to pick it from here. These are also, fun fact about masks, these are only level two masks, so these you shouldn't be using for like if you're, you know, doing cleaning with um, ultrasonic you know, stuff in the air. So these are only for like exams. So these are his masks. But my masks are in the bottom drawer so nobody accidentally uses them for an exam because obviously the level three are a little more expensive, but these are the good ones for when you're spraying a bunch of water in the air. A lot of people don't know that. So truly, make sure you're using level three masks if you're using any kind of Cafetron, piezo, whatever, because you should be using level three. Check your masks. They say it on there. It says like three on there. Anyway, so mine are on the bottom so he doesn't accidentally take them, the dentist. And then I have my little, I have all my profi paste. I usually ask at the beginning of the appointment, so again, I don't have to change my gloves too many times. I'll be like, okay, what paste do you want? And I have them all in these little cups to all the different flavors, so they get to pick. I also have a bunch of, like, bridge aids and threaders and stuff, you know, for going under those lingual bars, braces, stuff like that, bridges. And then I have these special, oh, in this drawer, I have these special ones that we get from the delish, the young ones, you know, we don't, they're just like special. If someone's like, you got any fun flavors? And I'll be like, yeah, triple fudge brownie or pina colada. You know, these are for my patients that really want something fun, but not everybody even wants to hear those flavors. You know what I'm saying? And then the Zuby, I really love these two. These are so cute for kids. They're the little profi angles that have like animals on them. I have one patient, this little girl that is always like, 
I will only get my teeth clean if you have the flamingo, so I save a bunch of flamingos for her. And then I have my four garnish in the corner and back here too. Drawer number three. So this is kind of an overflow. Again, I just have gloves in here because again, when you open and close, it doesn't let everything fly around, you know? These are for my little funnel for like people to spit in. I think it's hygienic. I don't know, some people maybe disagree, but so I guess you could spit in the cup or you could spit in this thing. It, you know, goes right into I still wipe it obviously too and disinfect it and put it in the bottle clay. Okay, um, I have my cups in here. I have some more headrest covers, some more everything. Again, this is overflow um, in case things fall. Ga or yeah, gauze. I have some good old um, bite paper because sometimes the doctor, you know, needs to check the, the bite. So then I don't have to run and find it from the assistant. And then I also have, which is probably a good tip, get some white paper. I mean, pending what your doctor is up to. I also have my, my topical, and then I have some like viscous, um, it's like a, it's kind of like a, a Aura Kicks, but it's called Hurricane, it's like a Hurripack. Same idea. That's what I use those syringes for in the top drawer. Again, they should be in this drawer, I just like things to fit, so. But I remember. I also have some Vaseline and some Q-tips in case people's lips are cracked. Yeah, so that's that. Drawer. And my last drawer. This one's kind of the, again, I, like I said, I, I hide my masks down here because these are the good masks for when you're doing like a lot of water particle spraying and the other things. And then I have my mirror to show patients. And then I have more gloves too. These are all my trial. I don't know if you can see over here, if you want to direct over here. These, we use like the latexes on the top and the nitrals on the bottom. Right, you end up using nitrile for like everyone anyway, but. So anyway, yeah, I just have some gloves. I have some extra bib clips, you know, just extra stuff. A lot of samples I get, you know. So this is kind of my bottom drawer there. And then it makes me every appointment go like, do a little like squat, like I do some workout. Get this glove every time, so I have to work out, you know. All right, let's go over here to the more like patient area. This was on my area and this is the patient area. So we're, on this side now, and this is my other side, and on this side I have the small gloves. I wear medium, so I keep medium on my side, but the small is for like the temp that works in my room. Let's see what's in the drawers. My first, this is kind of, I know I said these are kind of like my patient drawers over here, except for the top one. This is like, well, it's still kind of for patients, so I have like mostly big paperwork type stuff, so this is actually my notepad. Well, I usually use the post-it notes if I have to write something down for a patient. I've been like writing video ideas on this, like in the middle, you'll be like, oh my god, right? Like, you know, video ideas go on this little notepad, so that's there. But underneath the notepad, and then this is where I usually write, like, you need to use this, you know what I mean? Like, no, and then I'll give the patient a little. I have a bunch of water flosser coupons. I have some other, this thing from Crest, I think. Yeah, it like helps. I used to use this a lot, I haven't used it in a while. I used to love using, like, you know, additional recommendations and stuff for patients and like giving this to them. Just good little like visuals, some Listerine coupons. You know, this is where all my coupons are. And then I have this cute thing that my coworker Marta made for me. She made a tooth out of a sponge and it just makes me happy, so I leave it in there. And then I also have like these State of Illinois uh, dental forms for for kids, you know, if they need their school form. I have this cute thing that my coworkers made me when I got engaged. <laughs> I keep it here because that's so nice of them. I have some business cards. And, oh, and I have this little sheet, special wipes for extra. Oh yeah, this is like things that, like when we have like meetings, like team meetings, I write, you know, we have them like quarterly or whatever. Things that I know I need to tell, like the doctor, like these special wipes I want to get for the extra sensor. So, kind of my information. I have my little notepad. Again, this just saves room so not everything shifts, but I used to be paid in commission and I used to have to write every patient's name and what I did but luckily I'm not really now because that was a lot of work. But yeah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I keep this here because HIPAA, right? Patient names and just, it's gonna stay here forever. Drawer number two. Now we're into like the fun goodie bag type drawer. This is where, oh, and my barrier tape because I don't like when it just sits on the counter. I think that's ugly. So I leave it in my drawer. You know what I'm saying? I like the drawers to be clean as can be. Even having those bug me, but I know those need to be out or else nobody knows to use them. But for things that I only need to use, they are going, we are keeping it clean. This is actually how I keep my drawer. I'm like kind of OCD, but aren't we all hygienists, right? I really like to have color coded. So I just like know what color. I always ask, I'm like one of those, like what color would you like toothbrush? You know, I have orange, blue, purple, or green. I always say that. So I got those so I can just grab it. They're all color coded. I have my goodie bags. 
uh, themselves, the bags themselves. I have some floss and I have this like thing in the corner that, you know, odds and ends. You know how like sometimes you have a bunch of little Listerines and sometimes you don't? I don't know, maybe it's just my office depending if we, I don't know if they're freebies or if we get them like ordered onto the order. Obviously I don't do the inventory, but I do know that this is where I have my odds and ends. I have these cute little tooth things in case a kid just lost a tooth and little proxy brush type things, easy picks. Again, they're just the kind of odds and ends. Those aren't the things I usually give. I give in my goodie bag one toothbrush, one floss, and one toothpaste. Wait until you see my toothpaste drawer. How beautiful! We don't discriminate, Christ Colgate. I go, would you like whitening, regular sensitivity, or gum detox? That's what I say every time. And then I have the kids' toothpaste too. For kids, I go, would you like bubble gum or mint? You know what I mean? And then I give them. So I have all my regular, I have all my sensitive, I have my gum detox, and then I have my whitening. And then, of course, um, the kids. This, you know, the whitening in the kids, I did make um, that a little nicer. Usually I fill that up to the brim, but I want you to be able to see it for the picture, right? For the video. And then last but not least, I have this drawer on purpose on the bottom. It was a thought, there was a reason. This is the kids' drawer. I let them just go, and because they're small, they're, I'm like, open the lowest drawer, and then they open it, and I'm like, you can pick one toothbrush. And then I kind of have it organized. I usually help the little ones out, because sometimes little ones are like, whoa, there's so many. So I always tell like the little ones, like, you'll like these two in the back, because these are like, you know, whatever, the trolls and Star Wars and minions and what else do I got? I got like Iron Man, I got Transformers, Ninja Turtles, I got all, you know, the little ones, like I'm always like go back there. But then the, obviously the older ones, like teenagers, preteen, preteen, not teen, teenagers can use adult, but preteen, usually eight and up we say, right? I just have some fun colors, like really neon colors and then some pastels, whatever. So that's it. That's kind of my drawers. I mean, I know it didn't seem like a lot. I can't wait to see how long this video is. I really like being organized, so... This is actually very fun for me to make, but stay tuned because this is video one out of three. I'm gonna show you next time, I'm gonna show you maybe my tray, what I put on my tray, and then the next time maybe I'll show you some sterilization. So stay tuned, thanks for watching. Peace, love, and teeth.